YouTube. Hello friends and people in virtual world. Welcome back to Baggies TMD and welcome to another How To. Don't forget guys to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you enjoy the channel. So yeah, today guys we are going to show you how to fit a DCC chip in the Hornby new tool. Well I say new tool, it's a few years old now. Uh, their Q1. Quite a simple process. We've even left it in the box. You are going to need a small posi drive screwdriver. So let's get it out of the box, guys. Uh, I'm using some new uh, recording software today, so hopefully that's going to uh, going to go fairly well for us. So let's get the destructions out, just so we can show you in the destructions what we are going to do. that random thing that we found on a video that we actually need to refit. Let's get the old loco out. Ooh, there we go. That box over there out of the way. So what are we going to do guys? Let's well, just open up the instructions. So don't worry about the loco. To remove the tender, which is where the DCC chip is, there is two screws to the rear where the coupling hook is. So you can be probably best to disconnect everything. Let me just zoom in. Is that the zoom function? There we go. That is the zoom function on this new piece of software. So we're going to carefully pop this loco on its back. Really, probably should have a better way of doing this, but oh well. So yeah, there's just two screws, just hiding down the back there. Yeah, probably should have took. Oops, random screws are flying at me. So let me just go for a quick hunt. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's quite stiff. Two secs. Let's just put it on it. Let me hold it like this, it might be a little bit easier. Let's hold on, put my fingers in there. There we go. Screws are very stiff, guys, so just be careful of that. One screw out. Do like this, I can hold, can hold bits. Get into that second hole. There we go. Let's tear it freeing up. Second screw there, pop it carefully back on its what's it? So with this you lift up from the back carefully. It doesn't mention anything about a screw at the front, but I'm going to think there's a screw at the front as well. Let me just double check the instructions. I'm pretty sure I didn't say anything about a screw at the front. Turn tender upside down with screws in fig A. Carefully turn these the chassis down. Gently pull backwards to disengage the chassis. Whoops, there is. Sorry there, guys. Ooh, that's quite tight, that is, guys. Probably. Oh, there we go. It went. It was just a little bit tight, that was, then. As we try and break everything. So, yeah, there's just a couple of little logs just there that sit down there so yeah obviously we've got our uh let's just zoom you in nice and close there guys you can see again we've got the uh the uh chip just here stating number one is just down there i haven't got a spare chip to put in this but i can show you you saw the process on the other one so yeah Number one's there. Number one's always uh, is it orange or red. So what's one of them two colours? But that just goes uh, in there, guys. You also got room in here for a speaker if you really wanted to. You have, uh, yeah, and all the connections go through to loco. So it's all wheel pickup. So it's just pop. So pretend this is the old uh, the old chip. We'll stick that just in there. Not so carefully. Oops, I've all bent, uh, ooh, I've bent a couple of the pins, taking it out. Always be careful when you're taking them out. Guys, don't bend the pins like I just have. There 
There we go. So pretend that's the chip. Chip's in. I'd just put a bit of insulation tape and just stick it there because it isn't really that much room in there. Let's just zoom you back out. Ooh. They're quite flimsy, aren't they? Are. Someone was mentioning that was off the tender. Ah, well, I can see where it comes from now. That just goes on there, that little bit. We'll have to glue that on at a later date. So yeah, then the body just clips back into them front prongs. There we go. That clips in. It looks like it is. Ooh, no, not quite. Oh, this is quite of a stiff uh, locator to get back together, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. All back in. It just screws back into them two holes again. Very carefully turn it back upside down. The old screw on the end of the screwdriver. Ooh, that's going to be awkward. Let's get it on the old screwdriver there. Ooh. Aim down the hill roughly. Screw that back down. I think that's just... Yeah, it's just pulled the front back in a bit better now. Second screw. Ooh. Using it for that. There we go. And that screwed around that all. Oh, that we come out upside down. It's about right, isn't it, guys? That's better. Aim again. There we go. Bit of pressure behind it. There we go, guys. And that is how to fit a DCC chip to a Hornby Q1. Hey, you found that, uh, found that interesting, guys? Like I say, don't forget to uh, put a comment if you found it interesting. If you want to see some more locos, give us some suggestions of one you'd like to see. And if I've got it stashed in the collection, I'll do a video on it, guys. See you later.